it's time to exchange my cowboy hat for a straw hat. I'll be wearing my cowboy hat for a very long time and it is time that I exchange my cowboy hat for a, a monk's hat because to be a monk you need to be content with everything you have around you including yourself because if you're irritated by your own way of being you're not never going to be fulfilled and peaceful and they call they talk about peace happiness spirituality all of this is absolutely absurd if you are unable to keep yourself just like so even if somebody spit in your begging bowl you still accept that as part of life and that's what people are because nobody nobody is like you and how are you going to find somebody like you you're never going to if you want the world to go and happen your way where the hell do I go where the hell the others would go where would they end up but what is so deeply deeply important when you come here as a human being is to be awakened to a state of consciousness and this consciousness will bring you what it's called what it's needed to be a human a freedom without responsibility is a disaster in your own two hands and everything you touch feel taste and smell and see and so it is the key importance to be a monk to be a nun to be whoever you wish to be as long as the very one is turned inwards and scan to see how profoundly and how deeply you have come to accept whatever is wrong is what it is that nothing alters your way of being whatever comes at you you need to simply make it into well-being it doesn't matter it is just that quality that i have to bow down to it's not the outfit it's not the person it's the qualities that one take on and make themselves in a such a way that the exterior the exterior situation does not alter the way you are the culture of peace has been cultivated within and it simply radiates around you and that's what we talk when we talk about love peace spirituality consciousness inwards inward looking happiness joy ecstasy here i am with absolutely no intoxicants chemicals or anything i'm completely stoned and i'm floating away with ecstatic bliss in this cold freezing weather but it's only in the mind the psychological trauma until i just mentioned i didn't feel anything about the cold now i feel 
the draft hitting right up my backside. I've been sitting here for five minutes expressing about the sense of inclusive and inward cultivation of life. With that, I bow down to all the living beings on earth. I bow down to the existence of giving me the chance to experience and explore and share and leave with just the freshness of life and leave behind my my sort of nothing actually don't want to leave anything behind I'm simply nothing I'm simply a speck of dust in this existence it just gone gone from here and everywhere nowhere to be seen when that sort of fragility or that sort of insignificance in everything that we see around us compared to the existence where it starts and finish and to the entire cosmic space we must come here live profoundly and how joyfully have you left and have you left something behind or made it better for people to experience the way you did and live a bit better than how you found it when you arrived on your birth date, the first date when you took that fresh breath of air which was the life then you exhale again almost dead you inhale again a new fresh of breath <sighs> exhale you're dead and you start screaming crying and your mother hugged you how important is that moment how important is that transaction with this existence pay enough attention to the life process you will find an incredible way of living an incredible way of elevating and riding the forces of existence and become dissolved into this incredible place where we call it world I call it the living space existence thank you thank you thank you I bow down to everything around me that has supported my life and supported every other life Now I have to part this as it's not mine to others to experience in the same way and express their wishes or their thoughts or their understanding about life and uh, I will carry on. Journeying to the known and unknown space until my next video and next expression of words of diarrhea I'm going to be in my cup I had because that's where I belong right now nowhere else I belong just everywhere